What's up guys? It's your girl Natalia Nicole and I'm back today with another <laughs> video. So I'm here with Brenda and Ayana. And what's your Instagram? Oh, it's so it's so it's so Brie. And Ayana Cole 2 E. So I will put their um Instagrams down below. So we just filmed the pros and cons of Georgia Southern. So go check it out. You know, if you go to Georgia Southern, go check it out. So right now we're about to do um freshman advice. And this isn't just towards Georgia Southern students. This could be for any college, but you know, I'ma say some stuff about Georgia Southern as well. But you know, if you're going to college and you're gonna be a freshman, check into the video because I want everybody to succeed yes. and do great. And I just wanna say that this is a judge free zone, so this is our opinions about how we survive freshman year because you live and you learn so you know so yeah so we gonna start off i'm gonna do it a different category so we gonna start off with school and then um dorm life and then party atmosphere and then uh let's see might even talk about down a little bit um relationships <laughs> <laughs> why y'all laughing <laughs> And yeah, and then just a little, you know, some little nuggets that you could take with you. So we gonna start off with school because that's why you are there at college to get an education mm -hmm. and get a good job when you graduate. So yeah, so my number one thing I said that college is not high school, and you actually have to put in the work. So if y'all want to speak on that. I go first. <laughs> so in high school, I never really studied like that, but I was mm -hmm. always able to pass all exams and whatever because I just looked at the notes, did a little little write down, and just went on, went on. And that was even in dual enrollment. Mm -hmm. But that first week in college and bio, mm -hmm. if you're gonna be a biology major, yeah. study. Oh, I didn't even say our majors. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm a biology. I'm a biology pre med, and she is physics and astronomy. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. Within that first week, um, the teacher on the first day learning stuff, mm -hmm. writing down notes, got long modules on um, what is it called? Folio. Mm -hmm. And so when I tell you, I y'all, I had to study. I mean, I spent hours. Then you know, I just tell them now from study. I got mm -hmm. to study again. Hours put into your classes, so please, yeah. please study. And so, also, I was gonna tell you that Georgia Southern, we use Folio that has different tabs within your class that has your assignments. So they have your homework listed or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I said that, like your high, you know how your high school teachers are like on you, like you gotta turn this assignment in, you gotta turn this assignment in. Just know your college professors do not be doing that. Mm -hmm. Some of them don't even uh, know that you're in their class, like. Mm -hmm. They just want to put their work out, you do it, or you, you know, pass it, they grade, whatever you put in, and keep it pushing. They're not about to keep asking you for assignments because they want to weed people out of college anyway. So, you know, you got you got to be the one that be responsible to stay on top of your work. And if you have a teacher who is willing to, you know, remind you all, be thankful for that teacher mm -hmm. because that's rare. Yeah. Oh, yeah, read this. Yeah, read the syllabus because that syllabus tell you everything. That got the teacher email on there if you got any question. They office hours so you know when they are. And then just like the course in general, like they tell you the syllabus breaks down like what's gonna happen throughout the course. And I say you can't wing nothing. Like I was the type of student like she said that could just look at my notes and then take a test and be good in high school. So I like really had to put in the work and study. I said I ain't studied so much <laughs> since I've been in college. Like college really humbled me yeah. when it came to my grades. But you know, we made it through. Yeah. You know, we made good grades and made dance lists, you know. So, you know, yeah. Oh, one thing. One thing with the syllabus, also if you read it, some of your teachers will put like extra credit opportunities in it because for my psychology mm -hmm. class, I read the syllabus again and was able to get an extra credit opportunity. So they be having stuff in it. So yeah. Read it. Like, I remember our syllabus um, quiz that we had, they hid a hidden word, and he was like, what's the hidden word in it? So, they make sure that you actually read it. Yeah. So, like I said, set aside time to study. I said, you can go to the library and study. You can study outside. Like, and Georgia Southern really has, like, really cute 
spots that you can mm -hmm. study if you want to study but i always was study my room which probably wasn't a good idea and then but i mean i still made it through so yeah mm -hmm. and then they had study rooms on our floor so we would go to the study room and use the whiteboard and stuff and we went to the library like five a week and i was mm -hmm. like i need to go to the library more because it was like really a peaceful little vibe when i was studying um, I said don't slack because you are paying for school. So like I said before, like you are paying for this education. So go to class. Wake up. Go to class. Go to class. <laughs> like if you go to class, like you really shouldn't fail. Like you, if you go to class, you're going to get the assignments. You're going to do them. Go to class. Go to class. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say the skin as much. <laughs> go to class. So... Yeah, so that's that. Like, don't slack, you know. Stay on top of your game. Stay on top of your game. Um, another thing. Get involved and join clubs and organizations. Because this is also a way for you to meet people, but this is a way to build your resume. Mm -hmm. So, I can say we're part of NLSCP, um, Us Two, Tribeta, um, Southern so Leaders. Oh, yeah, you were Southern Leaders. Mm -hmm. Fitness Club. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You about to be the one of the secretary. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, and another thing. Do um get leadership roles in your club. Mm -hmm. So I said I'm gonna start trying to, you know, work on that and getting in leadership roles, but they be doing something. <laughs> but you know, you know you gotta do that to build your resume. Yeah, don't um, <laughs> I guess so. So that's our that's our piece of it. Anyway, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, get involved, join clubs and organizations because this is the way for you to meet people. And I said, if you want to be Greek life, don't say, like, who you want to be because, you know, it could be anybody around that. And they could be like, oh, um, they're not. She thinks she's going to be one of us? Yeah, no. <laughs> so, you know, if you want to be Greek life, just keep that to yourself between you and you. Um, another thing, ask your professor questions. Go to office hours. Because, and there's tutoring available on campus. So, one thing about me, I said I'm going to talk in a class. I'm not going to be the one that's stuck. I'm going to ask my teacher for help. And office hours really was a way to give like that one-on-one -on -one, one time. And then that's the way for the teacher to know that you care. Because they will help you out if you care. Because I know like this past semester, I was supposed to have a B in lab. And he pushed that up to an A. I said, oh, by the grace of God. So, <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, like, go to your office hours, talk to them. They'll help you out. They might push your grade up, you know? Um, keep a planner. Like, I kept a planner for academics and for, like, I guess, extracurricular other stuff. And that's just a way for you to stay organized on top of your um, assignments. Um, I also say in your planner, don't put all your work on one day. Just face it out. Because mm -hmm. you can do that in college, like... If you know that a certain assignment is due on a certain day, do it, like, space it out like that. And that way you're not doing, like, all your work on one day. You can breathe. Um, anything else y'all want to say about school? I had this one. Yeah. You said it. Oh, you don't say like I said, with school, like, don't let up. Keep going. It's, it might get hard at times, but, you know, you got to keep pushing. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, if you know, like, for me, what motivated me is me knowing what lifestyle I want to have when I graduate. So, me knowing that I need this degree to be the, the job that I want to get. So, you know, it just kept me motivated and stuff. So, find, find that motivation. And don't think me. you're never too smart enough. Yeah. Please don't think you're never too smart enough. Because it's a lot of people who have passed their way through college. Yeah. That I didn't think would do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. I they know what they showed in, in front of me. Yeah. I know people like that too, though. <laughs> and like I, oh, I didn't say this, but your freshman year is your foundation, just like high school. So if you, you can't be playing catch up. So you got to make sure that your grades are good your freshman year because you're going to be playing catch up. So make sure that you go to class, do your work, and everything. I know you got that freedom of being away from home mm -hmm. and stuff. And you know, you, people get a little wild yeah. out here. <laughs> so, you know, you you got to make sure that you are at least doing your... If you're going to be doing all that, at least make sure that your grades is on top and don't slack. Because you do not want to be playing catch-up. And 
if you know that you got a certain class that you need before you take another class, make sure that all the classes are good. So, yeah. And one last thing I want to say about the school part. Just pray. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> when, you get, when you get stressful, just pray. If you're too stressed out to pray, just cry. Do yeah. anything to relieve that stress and then get back on your game. Because right. that's what I have to do. I mean, it may be different for everybody else, but I have to do that. And like I oh, I just said, well, I just kind of said this. So, perfect, like the professors you're going to have, some of them care, some of them don't. But, you know, you got to learn the teaching style of the professor. And just, if that will... Learning the teacher style of them is going to their office hours and talking to them and figuring out like what they do so that you know how to study. Because it's certain professors, like you have to know how to study for that certain professor class. So, you know, just talk to them. Okay, so now we're going to get into the dorms at school. So, dorm life. Dorms are called wet. So, you know, you got to be careful about that. And then also, um... With Georgia Southern, like, make sure your dorm is clean because when they do room checks, they will find you. Um, but Georgia Southern does have some great housing. And you notice, you notice that um, some people aren't raised the same <laughs> when it comes to cleaning and everything. Like, I want to say my roommate, I love you, shout out to her. She was good. So, but I think that, like, setting up a set schedule of, like, who cleans what would really help. Because you will find yourself cleaning basically everything in the dorm. Which, you probably would do that anyway. Because if you don't like something clean a certain way, then, you know, you'll redo it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you just found out that people aren't raised the same. Yeah. Did you like you to I had to clean my dorm every week. Yeah. But not too much though. Yeah. Let me come leave it at that. Yeah. Yeah, just make sure y'all clean because yeah. you don't want to be viewed as that nasty roommate. Yeah. You know, yeah. Dirty yeah. roommate. Cause yeah. uh words get around. Yeah. So, yeah. Once you dirty, you dirty. You dirty. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. And like I said in the other pros and cons video, Georgia Southern, you can have they do have a refrigerator and a microwave. But um so you're not supposed to bring an air fryer or a hot plate, but if you decide to bring one, you know, hot and well, but <laughs> your RAs cannot go through your personal belongings, but they can open Georgia Southern drawers and cabinets. Yeah. Um, they will send out a um, email stating when they'll do, like, come in for inspection. They will do inspection. They will do, like, safety and stuff to see if, like, all of your... You know, belongings and stuff is clean and well put. So if you know they're coming to your room on that day, whatever you have that you're not supposed to have, you better take it out and put it in your car. Mm -hmm. Or put it in somebody else's car. Because you will be charged. Yeah. And, but they warn you before they warn you. Yeah. yeah. You come back and check, but if it's still there, yeah, you owe them some money. Yeah, because I mean, like we said, the dining hall, you know, you might want a little air fried food, you know. Right. Because the dining hall is just not, you know, up to par like it should be. But, I mean, it's to each his own. So, yeah, I just, you know, just, if you know you're not supposed to have something in your dorm, go hide it before you're already spawning. Mm -hmm. I ain't trying to get everybody, nobody in trouble around here. I'm trying to let y'all know. Mm -hmm. This is how we survive. Right. So, um, next, I'm going to get into the party atmosphere. And I, I can't really speak on, well, we can't really speak on this as much because we not the party type, like, we know you won't find us drinking and smoking nowhere. So, um, yeah. So, if you are a party person, there are parties out there, but be prepared to pay because they will just <laughs> shut down. Like, and you have to know how to manage your time if you're going to party. Like, I know, like, if we try to go to a party, then it was just going to get shut down. It seemed like every time, it must have been the Lord. Mm -hmm. Every time we try to go somewhere, you know, it was going to get, it got shut down. So, you know, and don't be peer pressured. Like, please don't. Like, don't be peer pressured. If you know you're not used to doing all that, then don't do it. Right. And then, you know, you have a feeling in your stomach that it's not right. Don't go. Yeah. Because sometimes bad things happen at the party. You never know yeah. if what you're drinking is laced, what you're yeah. smoking is laced. You, because we have fentanyl cases down there. I'm just be real with y'all. So please be careful. Yeah. So like I, I said, like. If you're going to be drinking, like, don't sit your cup down. Have a designated driver because, you know, they can't happen. They do get drunk drivers, y'all. Yeah. And you don't even have to hit the, uh, love. What is it? What's it called, y'all? Yeah. Oh, the drunk 
No, yeah, you don't even got a fair but, bit. But if you had a little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, if you had a little bit of alcohol in your system, you were still going to jail. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, don't be peer pressure if you know. I mean, but I know y'all go to college. Y'all are in college and y'all trying to experience things. So I know y'all. Some people might, you know, fall into it, but you know, do it because you want to. Yeah. If you gonna do it, then do it because not because you trying to, you know, fit in. Okay. And if you see a friend that's doing it a little too much, yeah, please, intervene, you know, yeah, intervene because you never know what they might be going through. Just, you know, talk to them because yeah, it's always good to be there for somebody. If you know they haven't been acting that way, please intervene. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna say about the party atmosphere. And they have parties like you know, George Southern is known as like the, the party school. The party. Like oh, they yeah. every they everybody tell you oh you going to George Southern oh that's the party school. Yeah, they be having a party. They, party. they have weekend, them. Y'all. Yeah, they have them like twenty dollars a weekend. But they yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not that hard to find them. Like you know, follow the Instagram pages. You gonna find them. So um mm-hmm. yeah, even if they be going to Savannah party. Yeah. Right. You want if you want to party, oh, you gonna find a party. So you're gonna party, yeah. Yeah, gonna party hard. <laughs> so yeah, the next category is relationships. Um, I was I said something. So I said like most most they don't go to college with a relationship. Um, if it works in you, I commend you. <laughs> and I know a few who have relationships. And they still going strong, and they go to different colleges. Yeah. So it's really, it really depends on the person. But I say, I say don't because you gonna see a lot of options out there, <laughs> and you know, yeah. so yeah. And that's what you. Got. The next part about relationships, I said when you come to college, um, don't have it in your mind that you are gonna find your husband or wife off the <laughs> bat. If it works for you, then it works for you. I don't know why the lighting look like that. If the light looked different, the memory card turned out, so we had to change the memory card. So, but yeah, um, yeah, if anybody else wants to speak, <laughs> yeah, nah, you, you ain't gonna find that, especially your freshman year, because they come a while out. They yeah. ain't coming to settle down. So maybe, maybe next year, y'all. <laughs> but the freshman, nah. Yeah, yeah that's be careful. Don't be wild tonight. Yeah, that's why I said, like, don't think that you gonna get a little freshman and he gonna. He gonna set it down just for you. Like he trying to see what's out there as right. well as you are. So um, and yeah, as far as options, then Georgia Southern, like there's a lot of options. Oh, we always say this: it's a lot of options for the dudes, but not for the girls. <laughs> like when it comes to, cause there's a lot of pretty females out there, but the dudes, no, so they look dusty, <laughs> crusty, and everything else. So um, so yeah, so I say if you are a woman that likes men. They really only want one thing, so um, it's don't really up to you. Yeah, it's really up to you to give it to them. So yeah, um, do it if you want to, but don't let yeah. them pressure you into it. Yeah, like do what's best for you and the right decisions. Because I said, don't let no dude have sex, and don't let a uh, on a man's point of view, don't let a woman take advantage of you. Because it's so many diseases out there. <laughs> And you can't like it's on Georgia Southern campus. It's so many diseases out there <laughs> yeah. because like you you would it would it would shock you, but it wouldn't because it's so many people. Like anyway, like it, it it'll shock you, but yeah. just don't do nothing. Be safe. Yeah, be safe if you are. But like don't do, yeah. don't yeah, just don't <laughs> please. <laughs> Cause you you also you can get pregnant too. And you don't want you to don't want anybody, anybody just do, especially in college. That, I'm not saying you can't be successful with a child, but yeah. it'll hinder you. Yeah. First year in the year to do that child, especially if yeah. you barely know each other and yeah. you're not with child. Yeah. You know? <laughs> not <laughs> y'all with child. <laughs> so yeah. please be careful, ladies out here. And I said, if you are going to do something, get your regular checkups. Um, It's a health center on campus, but yeah. yeah. Get your regular checkups and don't be naive, nasty. And don't um, like mm-hmm. just yeah. don't, cause you gotta protect your image and you mm-hmm. gotta have respect for yourself. Yes, because yes. people talk, all people talk right. on campus. Like, <laughs> yeah, they talk. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, and they, you know, these dudes, some of them lying. Like, they might even have a girl at home, and you won't even know. <laughs> right, and they don't even know that about you. Job. Like, yeah. So you know, people talk. That's the main thing, and. Dudes be saying stuff that you want to hear. 
So, I mean, a man, a dude gonna be a dude. And don't think that it's gonna come with age because it's men in their 50s that need to learn. So, <laughs> right. you know, you gotta, to each his own. That's what I always say, to each mm-hmm. his own. Because it really depends on the person. It depends on the type of relationship. And it depends on the man. Because if he, he will do it if he wants to. Like, show up for you if he wants to. So, yeah. So, my advice is to get to your bag first <laughs> because these dudes don't be talking about nothing. And vice versa, like, some females don't be talking about nothing. Right. So, if you a dude and you watching this, you know, get, get to your bag. Get to your education because that's what you are. The women for. can come later. The men can come later. Yeah. Put like, that degree first. Yeah, yeah like, you're, first. Yeah, you're there in college for that degree. And if so, you are in a relationship, have the same mindset because it mm-hmm. don't last always. Yeah, so... Right. Ladies, love yeah. yourself and get that money. That's all I gotta say. Men, love y'all so too. Yeah, men, love yourself and get to that money. Get to that bag. And so, also, so now I'm gonna get into points about safety with college. So, your college, every, this is for any college, um, walk with a friend. Make sure that somebody has your location, and even if it's somebody at the college or somebody back home. Mm-hmm. Like, I make sure my parents got my location as well. So, you know, just make sure that somebody has your location because things happen out there. And I know it's sad to say, and you hope that you don't be that person, but you know, carry pepper spray, carry a taser. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I keep my pepper spray on my keys, y'all. Yeah, I, 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 mean, I didn't have to use the taser, y'all. But <laughs> you, you don't supposed to have a taser. Yeah, oh, I mean, I don't have one. I still <laughs> just got mine just in case. I don't have one, y'all. So, yeah, like you're not supposed to have one. I got my pepper spray, but you know, you gotta make sure because things happen like. And Georgia Southern campus is so open. Like, it was so many random folks that were just walking on campus. Like, you'll see homeless people. Yeah, like, I was riding a bike. I didn't think that. Yeah, like, riding bikes by down there. Like, you, it baffles me. Because I wouldn't have thought that down there in Statesboro, like, stuff like that can happen. But it can. So, you know, you just gotta, it can happen anywhere. So, just be protected, ladies. And walk with a friend. Like, don't walk nowhere by yourself. Um... And if you go to a party, whoever you go with, leave with them. I know, I know people try to like switch up, be like, oh, go with that person because, oh, they probably fell out with that person or whatever. But just make sure that whoever you going with, you trust them because yeah. people do people so dirty out here yeah, they will. in these streets. Because half the friends, also another thing, half the friends that you had at the beginning of the semester, you're probably not going to have. Um, <laughs> About a second month. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, for real. Like, like it, it can change with even friends back home. Like, you might not even have, like, the friends back home. You might have to start a whole new life yeah. when it comes to friends, y'all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, okay, that's all I got to say. <laughs> no shame. So, the last points that I have are just, like, some little advice things. So, I said, I know you want to have fun. Like, you feel like you free like your mama ain't there to tell you to wake up for school and stuff like that or just there to hold your hand anymore if they were holding your hand so you know people leave home and they get crazy so just make sure that you have some home training Mm -hmm. uh just remember what your mama told you Mm -hmm. Uh, oh they don't think they don't know because they'll find out yeah just you know have some home training please when you because just think about you're in college you're not only representing yourself you're representing your family back home so just make sure that you know you hold yourself accountable and i know people be watching old people be watching you wouldn't think people be watching <laughs> especially on instagram but they watch oh they watch and although you so, think you know you're doing it for you you want to have a good impact you know to go back home to your family mm-hmm. and see what people say <clears throat> like what they're hearing about they want to be proud of you mm-hmm. so so yeah just make sure you ain't out here Wow, they wild. So just be smart, cause one wrong move can mess up your whole life. Like, just make sure that you are doing good, and be smart and not naive. Mm-hmm. That's all I gotta say. Be smart and not naive. And 
So these last points, don't be scared to come to Georgia Southern. I know it's going to be a new environment for some of y'all. Just don't be scared. Be observant. That's what I say. Be observant because you will find out a lot of stuff if you just watch. So be observant. Um, keep God first. Keep your books first. Always. Emphasis on always keep God first. Cause he gonna hold you down when nobody else do. Really? Um, I'm a witness. <laughs> yeah. And stay organized. Manage your money. Because, baby. <laughs> I ate all my money up first semester. Baby. Don't think that you're going to come to college with $100 and it's going to last. Because you need a few thousand. Yeah. <laughs> like, gonna lie, yeah. the way we was eating now, and we got to do better. We got to do better about that. We we try, try, yeah, try to prioritize budgeting because yeah. you never know when there's an emergency situation. Mm -hmm. So, I always do like, I always set money to the side that I know that I need for emergency purpose, purposes mm -hmm. and whatever I have left. Yeah, I'm spending that. Yeah. yeah, always. Even if you're working right now during the summer, always mm -hmm. set aside some, uh, literally, really most of your paycheck to the side just in case. Cause it'll be money that you you be like, oh, I spent. You spend more. I mean, you think. Yeah. Like, then you think like that little ten dollars, six dollars here that that add up. Man, you really don't know. So Starbucks <laughs> seasons. <laughs> yeah. Heavy on the seasons. Heavy on the seasons. Yeah, heavy on a lot of chicken and waffles. Mm -hmm. So, I had that. You know. Oh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta get that. Like, we gonna go. Home. Yeah, so, yeah. So, just make sure that you, you know, manage your money. And another thing about the dining dollars, like we said, what well, we said in the last video, watch the, mm -hmm. watch the last video. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's all we have. Anything else? We stay true to yourself yeah. always, y'all. Yeah. Don't let nobody change y'all. Yeah. Really. If you think you starting not to feel yourself, fall back from them people because you yeah. know what you really do. Don't please nobody. It's for you. Mm -hmm. You got to You're the only one who's responsible for getting that degree. Yeah. Right? So, mm -hmm. so I wish y'all the best. Yeah. Right? And if you see us on campus, say hey. <laughs> say hey. We're the only video. Right. Like, you can say we hey. We don't hang with everybody, but we're friends. Right? Yeah. Like, you know, keep. Something very small, but right. you know, but yeah, if you, you know, if you're on campus, if you know, Wait. Georgia Stop 2026, you know, need to ask some questions, yeah, we can help, we can help, we know, we know most of the campus, mm -hmm. if y'all know, no, be like, what is such such building, right. we can help, and she's giving our socials, so feel free to reach out to us, mm -hmm. you know, say how you heard about us, mm -hmm. and then we'll, you know, miss you, yeah, mm -hmm. oh, another thing, Another advice for Georgia Southern, look on, um, okay, so there's the My Georgia Southern app, and it has the campus map on there. If you lost, you can look and see, like, what building. My GS Mobile. Yeah. Let me see. Let me down. Let me tell you about all the apps that I oh, have yeah, downloaded yeah. for, for oh, GSU. Course. So, Navigate is one, which I don't really use that one, but nobody, you don't really have to use Navigate. Navigate. Like, Except for like your scheduling your advising appointment, but you can also do that on the website. So let me, let me even see what you can do. So you guys see what if you have any holds, um, your schedule. Mm -hmm. But my the my GS mobile is basically I don't know if y'all had um what we use in high school. If the campus, my GS mobile is like if the campus. So it has the schedule, the folio, the work, your view, pay, your tuition. Um, you can see your grades on there. You can see your schedule. Oh, I said that already. And in, like in comparison to my Georgia Southern Pulse is the app I use. Mm -hmm. We can I see everything. You um, it said a reminder like at least a, like a day or three days before your assignment is due. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So because yeah. that doesn't help. Do. Ooh, that doesn't help. So I forgot. Sometimes. Yeah, I forgot yeah. about the assignment that wasn't really done, but. Also, yeah. Duo Mobile is yeah. what y'all need to be able to get into y'all mm -hmm. account. And they had just did that like mm -hmm. in the middle of the year. I, yeah. Said, yeah. What yeah. Is yeah. I said, what is this that I got to hit or um, confirm every time I'm trying to get into my account? But it's only for security purposes. And then you got Eagle Engage, which mm -hmm. you can see um, what activities are happening. And then also, apparently, if you do community service hours, It'll show up okay. on Eagle and Gage, but I ain't never seen it. It might not be right, y'all. You might yeah. get a two hours and you really got 20, but it'll try. It'll yeah. Try. Mm -hmm. it'll try. It'll show you to me. But they also show you because, like, they if you check in, so if you go to the event, they're going to put in your uh, 
It got to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It oh, got to be numbers. Skin, right. So you could see, like, how many events yeah, you done been to. Been to yeah. yeah, everything you've been to. And then they have live, live safe. Um, that's the campus police. If you need to contact campus police. Also, the dorms have a panic button. Um, don't press it if you yeah, want don't press it because they, they, they gonna find you. So there's nothing wrong to panic about. So yeah, don't don't be trying. Man. Then we got Gotta Go, which I ain't never used, but I might mm -hmm. use. Mm -hmm. Gotta Go is the um food, so like you could order from Chick Fil A, Star uh Starbucks, the sushi with gusto, and the little um, robots. Yeah, the little starships. Mm -hmm. They'll yeah. bring your food, your uh Starbucks drink. So. It's yeah, so I mean, cool when you first see it. Yeah, yeah. like mm -hmm. I, I didn't think they was real, real, but yeah. you know they real. And then another thing I got is gather rewards. So this like if you go to like the baseball games, football games, basketball games, mm -hmm. and if they check you in, um, gather rewards, you can get free stuff on here as well. Um, I only got eighty six points, but but yeah. So that's basically all the things that I use as far as things. If you do fit walking, you gotta do engaged moves. Mm -hmm. I need to delete that. I'm done with that. Yeah, that's been done. Oh, I need to delete mine. But yeah, that's all we have. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Be ready for more videos coming soon. We're gonna be in the pot man, you know. Period. So mm -hmm. um, yeah. Um, bye. Let's do another thumbnail. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>